for me, the, the main reason why I came to Stirling was, was simply down to the coach. You know, Stephen Tigg is, is someone that I'd worked with since I was about eight or nine and learning how to swim at Aloha. It was just a natural fit. And from there, you know, it was quite a, a simple decision to be like, you know, if I'm going to be swimming, you know, why, why do I not do a degree as well? And I, and I think I made good use of that time. To have the opportunity to, to have a degree um, and be able to balance and work with it throughout my whole time at Stirling and, and balancing it with the different internationals and stuff like that was really important. I'm really lucky that they were able to do that. Yeah, so one of the, the key supports that I was able to get was um, a deviant study programme. So in, instead of doing completely full time, you know, being able to go part time was, was crucial and allowing me to excel at, at certain points in the year and be at my best performance. No, I think the uni is really well adapted to, to be able to be really flexible to, to sport and scholars, which I think is really good. I think one of the things that I'm most proud of so far, in all honesty, is, is getting a 2-1 um, because of being dyslexic and you know having to balance it with, with swimming um, is not something that I enjoyed massively and you know first and second year really finding it quite challenging but you know it, it's something which you know third and fourth year I actually started to really enjoy some of the modules and some of the classes. Um, but then you know inside the pool some of my proudest achievements I'd probably say, you know, the Olympic Games, you know, for me, it's the pinnacle of our sport, you know, to, in 2016, to get two silver medals there is, you know, still my proudest achievement. And, you know, I'm looking to, to go there and swim well again. And, you know, the group that we have at Stirling as well, you know, is, is one of the best groups in, in Britain for, for a training environment. Uh, and I think that that only credits, you know, all the summers, but I think it's a really positive group um, and looking forward to the summer. So because of COVID, you know, it's, it's got quite a busy one next year. So yeah, I think this next cycle will be really busy, really hectic, and it's going to be really quick as well. So, you know, the second this Olympics is done, it's, it's a real focus onto the next one. I might decide, you know, after the next Olympic cycle that, you know, I, I might want to come back and do a Masters. Um, I'm not writing that out of the question. Um, but, you know, what I do know is for the next cycle after this, you know, I, I want to just focus on swimming uh, and becoming the best athlete that I can be. Um, but then beyond that, you know, I might look back and, and fall back on my degree and, and try and either do a master's or, or go further afield.